So here we have the Zengari Double Cream Brie and we're pairing it with the Vanelstein White, which is a fortified port style wine. The reason I chose these two together is because typically when you're pairing a, um, a dessert wine or an after dinner wine with something, you want your something to be a little bit more savory so that your wine is always the sweetest thing. Uh, if you were to do it the opposite way, then the sweet dessert would start making the wine taste bitter and sour, which is not what we want. So um, fortified white port style wines are typically used as an aperitif when people first arrive. It's meant to help them warm up, relax, get the party started right. And what better way than a little bite of Zangari double cream brie to pair along with that. So next up we have the Zangari creamy Swiss and we're Pairing that with our new release for the fall, the Three Witches. This is a white Bordeaux blend of Semillon, which is a lot like a uh, dry, an old Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, and a, just a wee kiss of Gewürztraminer. So a nice, big, complex, full-bodied white to go with a nice, big, complex, full-bodied cheese. So now we're going to pair our smoky jalapeno with our patio reserve rosé. This is a dry rosé. And it's an assemblage of our estate grown Malbec and Semillon. And we're just gonna use a professional waiter's corkscrew here to open it up. What makes a professional corkscrew professional is it has two steps in it. So first we're gonna get our corkscrew to go all the way down, just going into the cork. And then you put this first little hinge step onto the side of the bottle and then pull up on the lever and then put on your second step and voila, it is opened. All right, so this time we're gonna take the herb and garlic and pair it with our Lake on the Mountain Pinot Noir. They're both very delicate, so it's a nice uh, complement to each other. Although you'll find with these plant-based uh, cheeses that the herbs are gonna be a little bit stronger in taste profile, but that's nothing that our beautiful uh, Cherry, strawberry, raspberry, and violet-nosed Lake on the Mountain Pinot Noir can't certainly can stand up to. So next we have our Triumvirate, which is our signature red, paired with the Zangari Ale Cheese Cheddar. Uh, the reason we're choosing these two together is because the Triumvirate is one of the fullest bodied wines that we make. It's made with, it's a classic heritage of Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. They're all made as single varietal wines and then blended together for the smoothest, longest taste profile. So a very big, round, robust, full-bodied wine, which will pair really well with a really zesty, cheddary pub ale. So here's a perfect pairing. Our 2016 Cabernet Franc with the Zengari tomato and basil. Uh, the basil, did you know, is picked live on site with uh, Zangari's living wall and it's picked immediately at the moment of going into the cheese. So it's as fresh as it gets. And the Cab Franc's a great pairing because this is our spaghetti and eat balls wine. So what better than tomatoes and a little sun-dried tomatoes and fresh basil cheese to pair with this, this lovely concoction here. <laughs> Our final really big pairing, it's a, it's a little bit polarizing because uh, Petit Bordeaux is considered the um, most acidic and tannic of all the Bordeaux varietals. It's typically seen in the fifth amount to increase the depth of color because it's darkest, it's the darkest and most inkiest and also to create structure because it has a lot of acidity and tannins in the wine. Um, this is a really great pairing with the cumin because it's, very, uh, what's the word, exotic. So that cumin flavor is gonna pair well with this really big full body gamey wine where we have things like forest floor and mushroom coming to mind. So a nice, lots of exotic taste profiles to enjoy.